the Volkortsen EMV. Let's check it out. Guys, when it comes to rimfire, Volkortsen is the best on the market. And they're really known for taking existing designs and taking them to a whole nother level. Uh, with the Ruger 1022, with the Ruger Mark series. Today we're going to take a look at the Volkortsen EMV. Uh, this is the 9 inch barrel, it also comes in a 6 inch barrel. It is a pistol, we have an SB Tactical Brace. But there are some features on the EMV that not only transcend what Bill Ruger started with the 1022, but it just goes to other levels. And so we're going to check this out. I'm going to tell you guys, it, this has been one of the most fun guns I've taken out to the range in a good while. Now we really appreciate GetZone.com for putting us together with Volkortsen for this review. And GetZone.com is a Second Amendment friendly video platform that, guys, I really feel we need to support. Because we need freedom outlets to get our voice out there. Now this is the Volkortsen ENV pistol. And this is actually the EMV-9 for nine inch barrel. Uh, they do make a model that's the ENV-6, which is a six inch barrel. But one of the mottos of Volkortsen is to make it better. And honestly, if I had a 1022 and I just wanted to go with my dream gun, I have to admit, this would come pretty close. First thing we're gonna do is drop our magazine. It is one of the 10 round rotary Ruger magazines. It does have an extended mag release. Check the chamber and the gun is empty. Not only does it use the standard 1022 box rotary magazine, you can also get the extended magazines. Uh, these are 25 round magazines. Just want to make that clear for YouTube because we can't put 30 round magazines on the table. Uh, but this is one of the old Eagle Internationals. I've had this thing for over 30 years. But one of the problems, it has a little stop back here to actually activate the mag release. And so I had to actually take that off to be able to fit it but then it fit right in. And here's one of the standard Ruger magazines, and they do make the BX, which I have a number of those. Uh, I just couldn't get my hands on them. So you have a lot of options with magazines. And the Ruger magazine just goes right in with a nice, satisfying snap. And then just press it and it drops it out. Now it starts out with this carbon fiber covered barrel, which really keeps the weight way down. Uh, you have a steel sleeve at the back that meets up to your receiver. And then we have a thread protector here. Uh, it's very well knurled and it reveals half by 28 threads and there is a washer. As you can see, it is a full steel barrel. So it's not just a small little tube, which I've seen those used before. And then the carbon fiber just covers it. So it gives it a bull barrel look, but it doesn't give you bull barrel weight. And man, that carbon fiber is beautiful. Now the upper receiver is all aluminum. One of the beautiful things about this and something that I think is really a game changer is they have drilled and tapped every major footprint for any micro red dot you've got. So you don't have to have adapter plates. It's milled in here, here, and here. So you have three different points to be able to put that red dot wherever you want to. And here with the Trigicon RMR, it's in the perfect position. It's as low to the receiver as possible, and so that really allows you to have more of a natural aim when you get onto the red dot. And there are set screws in each one, so you just take it out and then you place your red dot on and just screw it right in. I mean, it is so simple. I love this. And it's really stable with the receiver. And this is one of the actual Verkortsen made receivers. Now we have the Odin chassis system. This is by Enoch Industries. They make this for Volkortsen. 
Uh, and this just allows for the receiver and the trigger group to fit down into this chassis. And so it's a very beautifully milled aluminum chassis. So it really relieves weight. And it's milled out right here above the trigger guard. So when you have your hand up here, you can just place it naturally into this little cavity. And that way you keep your finger out of the trigger. It also has QD points on either side. And we have M-lock slots at three, six, and nine o'clock positions. So lights, lasers, whatever you wanna put on there. And then they have a small hand stop. And you're really gonna appreciate that because that barrel is not that far out from your hand, especially with the six inch version. Now this is one of the TG2000 trigger groups that are, that are produced by Volkortsen. And I've had some experience with these. The trigger pull is phenomenal. And it does have that flat face geometry. And we'll check the trigger pull weight in the action in just a minute. And we have a standard cross bolt safety. And then like on the traditional Ruger 1022, we have that little bolt stop. So we can pull our bolt back, engage it, and then it locks it open. If you want to disengage, just bring it back and release. You'll notice that the bolt has almost a glass appearance to it. Uh, this is a diamond-like coating that just gives this a very slick action back and forth. And we have a nice charging handle that's knurled, but it's really comfortable and easy to grab. And the barrel is free float. Just comes up, then it hits where the barrel nut is. That keeps that receiver or that chassis system off your barrel and gives you really good accuracy. And we have the Magpul Mo K-Grip and the SB Tactical Pistol Brace. Uh, of course, it has the Velcro strap, and this is foldable. Uh, one thing you wanna do is lift it up and bring it around. It really has a solid lockup, and to disengage, just open it. Now, Volkortsen is no stranger to making really excellent designs even better. Uh, it's like this Black Mamba. But the Black Mamba, to me, is taking a Ruger Series 22 and completely transforming it into really a custom firearm right out of the box. Now weight on the EMV with the Trigicon optic. Four pounds, 1.4 ounces. And Volkortsen states on the website that this weighs three pounds, 15 ounces. And that's about right once you add on the Trigicon RMR. We dropped in a little snap cap to protect our firing pin. With 22, uh, it's not really good to dry fire continually. Check that action on the trigger. Just a little bit of take up right here, and a definite crisp break. Reset, right there. Guys, I'm telling you at the range, this thing is fast. Let's check our trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. One pound, 15.6 ounces. Two pounds, 1.8 ounces. So around the two pound range. Now with the SB Tactical Pistol Brace, uh, this allows for you to have a 9-inch barrel on a built rifle type platform, and yet this is a pistol. And so the brace really just helps to stabilize shooting with one hand. So here the Velcro strap allows you to put it around your forearm. And guys, to be honest, this is probably the easiest, most natural brace to use. Uh, it just kind of lines it up. And then because of the Velcro, it just tucks away really easily. Plus you can also shoot it on your cheek, which gives it another point of contact. And then occasionally you can put it on your shoulder and you can fire it. And that's according to the ATF rules. As far as folding this, bring it up, bring it around. <laughs> Makes a really small package. And then we can just pop it back into place. To me, SB Tactical makes the best pistol braces on the market. But guys, in this configuration, this can be shot with one hand very easily. Or whether you shoot it with a standard two-hand pistol, or you can just shoot it one-handed. I mean, it's not that heavy, and so it really allows for a lot of configurations. I want to thank Fioki for sponsoring the ammo, all made right here in the USA. They make a really excellent line of 22 rimfire, and we're shooting some high velocity. We're going to try out some standard velocity as well. And this does use the standard Ruger little rotary box mags for the 1022. Now guys, taking the EMV to the range. I mean, it's so lightweight, it's so small, it's in that pistol form, it's got a nine inch barrel, it's just tiny. And, but yet you feel this really good quality to it. The Odin aluminum chassis, 
uh, just feels natural. Uh, the grip at the front, it gives you just something to hold on to because that barrel is short. But pulling that trigger, it's just so easy. The, the recoil is nothing. I mean, that's what I love about taking 22 out to the range anyway, is it's low report, low noise, it's fairly inexpensive to shoot, and yet it's so much fun. And with the EMV, where that red dot is right there in front when I pull it up, so easy to get on target, so easy to see that dot. And then again, you can put any red dot sight on the market on this. I mean, I think this is ingenious to set up this system to where you can put any kind of red dot. Carbon fiber barrel, it's so lightweight. It doesn't put a lot of weight at the, at the end of your pistol. And of course, with the threaded barrel, you can throw on a suppressor. It just naturally fits in the hand and it's just a lot of fun to shoot. Whether you're shooting it slow, or you know you want to get that rapid shots and that trigger is just exceptional now there's a number of things about this little pistol that i really like i think one of the things that's the most innovative is the footprints for the different red dot sights. I think that is huge and you have three different positions directly onto the receiver. Uh, the chassis system is beautiful, well made, still keeps it really light. The carbon fiber barrel sleeve on top, again it keeps the weight down and it's threaded by half by 28 threads. The SP Tactical Brace of course those are very well known. TG2000 Trigger Group is excellent. Um, and then of course just the Vroquartz and quality and the attention to detail. So there's not really anything negative that I can say about this if you're looking for a very small, collapsible, foldable type small firearm to pack away, to carry, to, to suppressor host, I mean, whatever you want to do. Of course, it's M-Lock ready. Now, as far as price goes, the MSRP is $1,554. And to a lot of people, that's going to be a big negative because they don't see the value of going from just a basic 1022 up to something like this. But I'll tell you, when I did my build uh, for my Bull Barrel 1022, it cost me $1,200. <laughs> and that was me putting it together, which was fun. But it still was a 1022 with upgraded parts, but not anything like this. And then, of course, market price could be less. So overall, this is a beautiful gun. Uh, the only thing that, again, that I see would be a negative to some is the price. And guys, there's a lot of just basic 1022s out there. And, you know, we kind of settle for that mediocrity, but if you want to step it up to a whole nother level, it's going to be hard to beat the Volkortsen ENV 9 or 6. So guys, while the 1022 is an excellent rifle for a production rifle, but when you take that 1022 design and you make it into a whole nother animal, that's what the Volkortsen EMV is. I mean, it takes the Charger design, which obviously, you know, has been very popular with Ruger, and it really gives you all the upgrades that you could possibly want, and maybe even more. I mean, honestly, there was a lot that I expected when I pulled this out, and it surpassed even my expectations. So check out Verkortsen EMV, great little pistol, nine inch, six inch, and their whole line of rifles, and also their Mark Series pistols. They're just the top. And if you're really looking for something that's a cut above, Take a look at Volkortsen because I think you're going to be very impressed and uh, at the range with the accuracy, with the simplicity, and with the reliability. I mean, they're just great firearms. And guys, again, we want to thank GetZone.com for putting us together with Volkortsen and for Volkortsen to send the ENV-9. I mean, this has been a great experience and I'm a huge fan of the 1022. But man, when it comes to this, again, this is another universe. Masters of the universe. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
EMV. Okay. Because of the upgrades of this, okay. And it reveals half by. Okay. Then we have the Odin. Okay, now we have the Odin. And then it hits with Volkortsen and for Vol and for Volkortsen. Uh, it's like this Black Mamba. Uh, this is based on the Ruger 1022. And correct. And up. Okay. And make it. I know you don't want to see me fumbling around with this. <laughs> ratchet system. <laughs>